Hi, I'm Krista Jacobson, headmistress of the Buddha Dukai, where we teach authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu. And for those of you who don't know what that is, those are the ancient martial arts of the ninja and samurai. Uh, today I'm going to be shooting an update video for my vlog, kind of getting you guys all up to date with what's been going on. Um, for those of you guys who follow my channel, you guys know that I post at a minimum two to three videos a week on my YouTube channel, and I didn't post any videos last week at all. And to be honest with you, we ran into a bunch of problems at the dojo last week. And in fact, one of the problems was a real pain in the ass. In fact, it's the worst possible fucking thing that could happen, happened. So yeah, to get you guys all up to date, uh, I think I should make an update video and kind of talk to you guys a little bit about all the things that's been going on so you guys know why I had to take a week off. So that's what this video is going to be. Um, Right, but before I get going, for all of you guys that are newbies out there that have never uh, watched any of my videos, um, if you guys are interested in authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, don't forget to click the little bell, right? I do post two to three videos a week on average. Last week was not an average week, but we do post at least two to three videos a week. So if you guys are interested in uh, traditional Japanese martial arts, uh, reality-based self-defense, weapons training and tactics, survival skills, martial arts theory and thought, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to click the little bell so you get the notifications. It doesn't really do you a whole hell of a lot of good to subscribe to the channel and not click the bell because if you subscribe to the channel, that's great, but you won't get a notification when I post the goddamn video. So click subscribe. You know what I mean? And then click the bell. That way you get a notification every time we post videos and you can keep up with everything that we're doing, right? So, let's get on with uh, the issues. So, a couple things I want to go over. The beginning of last week, right? Um, I posted one video last week and, um, well, not last week. I posted the last video that I posted, right? So, since then, I was getting ready to shoot, I was getting ready to post another video. I worked, I shot a great video. In fact, I don't even want to tell you guys what the video was on because I'm going to reshoot the goddamn thing. Um, but I posted, I made a great video and about uh, uh, martial arts, ninjutsu training, bujutsu training, and um, more of a kind of a mo motivational martial arts training conditioning type of a video, right? And um, man, I bet you I worked on that goddamn video like three or four hours. For some reason, I could not get the file to um, export into a into a, a video file for me to post and I'm like what I'm beating my head in this whole thing I was like god damn I updated the graphics card I updated the 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 video um, editor I updated I looked at his windows need to be updated I mean just shit I was going through everything I updated all the drivers and for some reason it just would not fucking update so I'm like well fuck it then maybe I don't know maybe I was sitting there thinking like maybe it was the video file itself that I, that was just a bad video file like it's happened for before, but we're talking like one, once every like two or three years, you get that one video file that just has a problem with when it was recorded or something. So I'm like, shit, maybe this is it. So I tried to, in my head, I'm like, okay, what I need to do is convert this video file from a MOV file to like an MP4. And then I'll just, you know, edit the goddamn thing, put it up, keep everything on course. Okay, so when I said the worst possible thing can happen, this is this is the worst. I'm starting with like the worst fucking thing. Then we'll get into the other bullshit. So years ago, years ago, I used to have this thing on my computer called Hamster Video Converter. And it would take any file that you have and convert it for free into another file. So it would take like Word documents. At this, I don't think it does anymore, but it would take a Word document and make it a PDF. It would make a, uh, a video file and turn it into MP3 if you just wanted the audio. Um, uh, it would take MOV files and make them into MP4s or, or MPG2s or whatever, right? Uh, you know, all those different kinds of video files and shit. So, it, or Windows uh, video files. So it would take all of these damn videos, all these different files, and convert it to the one that you wanted. So I'm like, okay, this is what I need to do. I need to just go find Hamster Video Converter, the free download, and when I do that, I'll convert the goddamn thing, and then I'll make this video for the YouTube channel and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so with all of that happening, I found that I finally found a free hamster video converter download. I downloaded the file. Didn't look shady, and here we go. This is all my fault. The whole fucking thing is my fault. I can't blame anybody but myself. So I downloaded the thing, and uh, as I downloaded it, the computer went click, click, like that, like literally like, like you blink your eye. I'm like, what the fuck is that? 
every fucking word on my computer, every word on my computer turned Russian. Russian language. I shit you not. Turned to Russian. Like, to the point of like my, you know how you make a file on your computer and I'll have a file saying like 2019 Taikai. That's the name of the file. And then you open it up but it's a bunch of pictures or some shit. Like, literally, the names of my files turned Russian. I shit you not. And then when it downloaded the fucking Hamster Video Converter, like when I clicked on like Firefox or Internet Explorer, I use both of them depending on what I'm doing. But anyway, I click on Firefox and it pulled up and it's a Russian website. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm like, you know, I don't even remember, but it was like, a, it looks like a, a white circle with like a red backwards R. And there's another one that's a white circle with a yellow. I mean, not a yellow, a Y. Anyway, we'll get to that in a second. So I'm like, holy fucking shit. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's like, fuck, they paid for the goddamn president that's on office. Now they're trying to take my shit. It's like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Jesus Christ. So I'm like, holy shit. So I go into like the, uh, uh, I go into the fucking, where it says paid for program, you know, add, add programs, add and remove programs. So I go into there, and when I go into add remove programs, I'm like, holy shit, there's a bunch of them. Bang, 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 bang. So I just, you know, delete, 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 delete. Now, I didn't think I had necessarily a virus because my computer was running right. It just changed the language and it added all this different shit to my computer. So I'm like, you know, what the fuck, right? So I, in my head, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna delete the fucking programs because when I downloaded, hamster video converter, it also downloaded all this extra shit. So I'm like, I'm just gonna delete all that shit, turn my fucking language from Russian to English, everything will be good. Okay, <laughs> right, that's high hopes, isn't it? So anyway, as I'm deleting all the shit, I deleted all the shit, computer was running fine, I changed it from Russian back to English, and I noticed, you know, let's ask, and this, follow me on this, you know like when you look at like your main screen on your computer, um, and it says like, uh, you look at your main screen and you're used to seeing like Yahoo, we, I use Yahoo as my homepage, Yahoo and you, you're used to seeing the font or the, um, the, the, you're used to seeing a certain font and you're used to seeing a certain size of letters, right? The font, even though it was English, it was changed to something slightly different, kind of like a, a Times Roman to Georgia type of thing, you know what I mean? And then, the words were slightly changed, like from like a size 12 to like a 13. You know what I mean? And there's no way I could change that. And I'm like, I think I just fucked up and I think I have a fucking virus. The thing is though, I have massively good, I have like virus control, Norton, all this shit, malware bites, all this shit. Like, I mean, I, and I pay for all the shit. I don't have the free crap. Like I pay for the top fucking virus bit on the computer. Like, you know how like, they say, oh, for like, 59 it's this, 79 for this, 99 for this. I always buy the 99 because inevitably you're gonna get fucked if you don't. So, right? So, across the board with virus and spyware and firewalls and all that shit malware, I pay for the best. I scrimp on other things, but I pay for the best defense, right? So, anything. I'm like, there's no way I have a fucking virus. So then I thought maybe what I just need to do is, you know how you could go on your computer and you could say like, okay, um, that, to, by the way, this happened on Friday the 13th. But fucking shit you not, Friday the fucking 13th. So I'm like, okay, today's the 13th. I'm gonna just, you know how you go back and say, I want you to um, put the computer back two days. So like uh, March 11th, right? So. I'm like, you can, what do you call it, restore, repoint, restore, whatever that is, restore it to another date or some shit, recovery or whatever, I don't know. So anyway, I go back and I choose, okay, I'm gonna, I want you to restore the computer to March 11th. So when I did that shit, it goes to March 11th, pick the day, like a restore point or recovery point or some shit, go on to Windows, bang, 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 and I've done it before. I've done it where I fuck shit up before and it's like, okay, I just let's just take it back a couple days and restore to that point and then, you know, fuck hamster video, I'll just reshoot the fucking video, right? In my head, that's where I was going. No. I go back to that point, I, I'm walking fast by the way, because I feel like it's getting ready to rain, because I feel the little droplets, and uh, wouldn't, that be the, wouldn't that be the fucking cherry on the fucking uh, ice cream, or what do they call it, cherry on the top, whatever they call that shit? because I'm telling you guys about all the fucking crap that's happened this week and then fucking starts raining on me. Anyway, I, it's getting ready to rain. 
So, I choose to take it back two days. Bang, knock it out, initializing, blah, 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 Windows is doing this, creating a restore point, blah, 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 and it says like, okay, 10%, 20%, and I'm just sitting there watching it, because I'm on my phone, I'm getting ready to make a post. So, here we go. It got right to 53%. And then all of a sudden, at 53%, I hear my computer, it goes, Burr. I'm like, what the fuck? And I just look at it, and the 53 stayed, and you know that thing that goes like this, it just stopped. And I'm like, oh, what the fuck? And then the screen went blue. And then it just shut off. I'm like, oh, fuck. So I sat there for a minute. I knew what was coming. The blue screen of death type of thing. So, anyway, turn the fucking computer on. Blue screen pops up. And then I have an alert. It says Windows... Uh, recovery, whatever, urgent, back up your computer, blah, 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 you know, suspicious, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, oh, fuck, right? So I only had two options. I had, do you want to back it up or do you want to have, or do you want to have a, um, a restore? Okay, well, I get restore and recovery mixed up. It's the recovery, I think, which goes back to a date. A restore puts the computer back at factory settings. So... Like a dumbass, and again, my fault, I'm the one that put the fucking hamster thing on there. Didn't read what the fuck I was doing. I'm like, well, I don't want to back anything up. I'm just gonna do this one. So I click the other one, because I only give you two options. I click the motherfucker, and as we're doing this whole fucking thing, right, I text one of my students, uh, Mr. Dupree. He helps me a lot at the Hambu. He works on computers and shit, and I'm like, I'm not restoring this motherfucker back to factory settings. I'm not losing everything, am I? Because if I lose, let me just tell you guys, I lost a lot of shit. And he's like, yeah, that's what you just did. And I looked at my computer, and it does take him back to factory settings. I'm like, holy fucking shit. Fucking shit. So, what broke my heart the most when I, when I restored it, I didn't, I mean, all my YouTube videos, I save, I, every video I've ever put on YouTube, I have that on an external hard drive. All my books, external hard drive. Every picture that I've ever done, you know, external hard drive. The only thing I don't have is I don't have the pictures. And I mean, real, realistically, from a martial art perspective, I did lose the pictures and videos from the 2019 Daikomi Osai Stealth Camp and Tomoro Camp, the three Taikais that we do. I lost all that. So I'm never gonna have a 2019 DVD set, right? That sucks. And I don't have those. I don't have those pictures either. That sucks. So any one of you guys who came to the 2019, any of the 2019 camps, and you have pictures, please send them to me so I can have them. Um, yeah, because I don't have them. But what breaks my heart even more, and this is like it was so bad. Like I, I almost I started fucking crying. Like one of my students, like Mr. Heath at the Hambu, he um he's like sends that you want to hug, because what sucks is like I lost all the pictures of my family. You know, at Christmas morning birthdays um, my daughter went to a, a dance you know shit like that I lost all that information and that right there that bothers me not being able to have that it's, it's not about you know what I mean and don't get me wrong I always post a picture here and there but I only post like one picture of someone's birthday so I could always go back I guess and save a picture if I posted something but there's so many photos and videos that I take that I don't post on the internet. It's for the family. It's Christmas morning when my kids open up the gift from Santa. You know, birthday or the Easter bunny comes and all this shit. And I'm out there, they're taping, watching, you know, little Juliana run her little ass around trying to shoot, trying to find fucking eggs and stuff. You know, it's those things. I've lost it. And I can never get that back. And I'm not going to lie. It really, it really fucking bothers me. It really does. I mean, all the martial arts stuff I can recreate. I don't, that doesn't bother me. That other, that does bother me. So I was heartbroken Friday. Now, one reason this does ha this was happening was because the video editor, remember I said I spend high, I always go high on the fucking, on the antivirus and the malwares and all that shit. You know, at least the antivirus I do, I always spend the highest one. And I kind of scrimp on other stuff. Well, that's where this comes into play. I didn't fucking, my video editor is so outdated that um, it isn't really like recognizing certain files. 
and I've been dealing with that shit for about six to eight months. Ever since Windows did this new thing where you had to pay a dollar to have the HVAC video, or they call that, um, HVEC video files be converted to be read off of a Microsoft Windows computer. Anybody, so, some of you guys don't make videos, don't, don't know what that is, but you guys who do create videos know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Microsoft basically gave a big fuck you and made everyone pay one more dollar to be able to open up a certain file. I'm sure they made millions. Fuck me in the long run. And certain video editors became automatically obsolete, which was mine. And the video editor that I use is fucking expensive as shit. So, and you know, for those of you guys out there who think, you know, I'm gonna have a career teaching martial arts, I have a career teaching martial arts, it's, it's my, that's how I pay my bills, it's all that I do is my martial art business. But anyone who runs a martial arts school will tell you, that, you know, you ain't gonna get rich doing it. And um, anything to do with just martial arts, whether it's videos or books or teaching, instruction or whatever, you're doing it because you love it. You know, if you're doing it for the money, then you're just a shit fucking teacher. And, you know, f fuck that and fuck you for even making the real people out there who are trying to, you know, educate people and make them better have to compete with your dumb ass when you just want to do it for the money. But, um, you know, there's a lot of village bastards out there. But, nonetheless, I don't make a lot of money. I just do what I love. And, uh, which I'm happy. You know, I'm not bitching that I don't make a lot. I mean, I make that decision that I'm, this is what I'm doing for a living. But I don't make a lot of money. And when I have to drop, you know, hundreds of dollars on a fucking video editor, that sucks. So, yep, I restored my fucking computer all the way back to goddamn factory settings. And when I did it, I'm like, fuck this. I'm just gonna pay for everything to be updated. So I did that. During that process, here we go. We have the big coronavirus COVID-19 thing pop out and everyone closes down. Now, at first I made a video and I, so on top of that, so there's the first problem. So there's why two or three days, it took me two or three days just to upload all the bullshit, get the computer back to normal, pay for all the new software and all that kind of shit and now the computer's back to running. Then following that, we have the big virus, the pandemic effect all the way through it, you know? Everyone all the fucking country, you know, China, this, that, and the other, all these country people are dying, you know, and all this kind of shit. And you know, our president at first was like, eh, hey, big deal. You know, I mean, why the fuck would he give a shit? Because back in 2018, his ass cut the CDC by 80%. Not just the people, but the funding too. You know what I mean? The head of the CDC walked out on the current president in 2018 because he's fucking pissed at the way that he handled it. Our president was like, eh, any big deal. The next week, no big fucking deal. He literally said, this isn't nothing but a hoax created by the Democrats to keep me from being reelected. People are fucking dying. Fuck! And then the following week, okay guys, this is a pandemic, you know, we gotta be serious about this, we can't control it. It's like, you're such an asshole. So, you know, don't get me wrong, it isn't his fault. I do not like the current president, but it is not the current president's fault, being real about it, that the virus got into the country. Absolutely not, we can't blame that on the current president. We can blame lots of shit on the president, the way he handled it, the shit that he's cut, we could, there's a lot of shit we can just beat his ass with, but this one we can't. However, if he would have handled it a little bit quicker, it wouldn't be the problem that it is. And that's for damn sure. And anybody knows shit snowballs and shit rolls downhill and the faster it rolls downhill, the more it collects shit, right? So that part of it, we can pin on him, but it is what it is. We can't bitch about that part now. What the problem is, is that everybody's closing shop. So I made a video, get back on point. There was a little fucking side note, right? So I made a fucking video and I'm like, okay, uh, I'm not gonna close the dojo. I'm just not gonna take any more new students uh, until this thing goes over. If you guys have a fever, a headache, a cough, whatever, please don't come in. If you've been around someone, you know, if you've been around someone that's sick, please take a week off to make sure you're not sick. If you are sick, you need to take 14 days off before you can come back in. Generally speaking, when people are sick at the dojo, I ask, do you have a fever? This is normal. And they'll say, yeah, and I always tell people, you can't come in. You have to take 24 hours off before you come back to training if you have a fever. That's the general rule of thumb. That's the way the high school is, the local high school here. If you're, if you're a kid in school, if you take your kid to school and your kid, your kid is sick, the nurse will say, well, she can't come back to school until after 24 hours after the fever is broke. That's your general rule of thumb for high school, middle school, elementary school. So that's what I've always stuck with. The dojo, the hanbu, usually goes in line with the local high school. I'm like two blocks away from the high school, one block away from the grade school and elementary school. So if they close, we close. If it's bad weather, they close, we close. If they close because of some 
you know, emergency, whatever, they close, we close. I usually just stay in line with the local businesses. So at the point when I said, okay guys, we're gonna stay open, but no new students, if you're sick, yada yada, I made this video, but I made that video before the horse shit, right? Well, then what happened was um, two days after I made that video, and I made that video for the, um, the I have a private student Kudin page, and uh, when I made that video, what ended up happening was then all the schools in the Kansas City area shut down till April 3rd. So for all of you guys watching this, the Hambu was shut down until April 3rd. I know it's 14 days and everyone's like, fuck. But the reality of it is, if you do have the virus, let's just be real here. If you have the virus, you, you need just 14 days to let it get out of the system and then you're not contagious. That's what they say, that's what the CDC says. And I don't give a shit about what this president says. He's everything from fucking, you know, like, it's just one big hypocritical motherfucker the whole time, you know what I mean? Like, when the dude got fucking elected, he, grabbed about, he bragged about grabbing women by the pussy. He's literally in the fucking office signing checks to Stormy, Stormy Daniels. His lawyer, who's in jail for lying to hide his shit, literally showed, showed checks about how this guy is sitting in the Oval Office writing checks to pay for a whore's ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And no one gives a shit. Bill Clinton gets impeached because he lied about a blowjob. Bill Clinton didn't get impeached because he got a blowjob. Bill Clinton got impeached because he lied about a blowjob. This dude is sitting in the Oval Office cutting checks to whores and it's perfectly fine. No one gives a shit. That's the start of the whole thing. And I mean, fuck, I could just get going on this motherfucker. Anyway, mm, I mean, he is a real motherfucker. So anyway, cut shit, let's get, get on with it. Because right now 33.7% of my student body probably is gonna leave the fucking dojo if I keep that shit up. So uh, yeah, statistics. So anyway, the coronavirus hits, right? And I make this thing about, uh, okay, so April 3rd, we're shutting down the dojo. If you're, you know, stay, you know, do the whole social distancing yourself from everybody, blah, blah, blah. If you, you know, make sure you're, you're good for 14 days. April 3rd will open back up, blah, blah, blah. So then there goes that problem. So that's where we're at with that. So, um, yeah. So between losing all of my, my computer fucking up, catching a big ass virus, which was my goddamn fault, then having to figure out a way to pay for all the programs to get back on it, to update everything. So I don't have the problem again. And then dealing with that bullshit that took a couple days, then having to make sure that I do the correct thing to keep my students from being sick and getting sick. You know what I mean? Like no new students can come in. Please don't bring your family and friends. Please don't bring kids. You know, if you're coming to train, this was the initial one. If you're coming to train, it's just you. Don't bring your girlfriends. Don't bring your wives. Sit and watch. Don't, don't, no new students. Don't, don't tell your friends to come along. It's just you coming to train. And we're going to do that until we ride out this COVID-19 thing. And then two days later, well, the whole fucking state of Kansas shut down their education. And everyone sits there. Another thing, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to take a shot at the, another little, little shot here. So these people, this is how ignorant motherfuckers are on Facebook. They're like, oh my God, it's just like the flu. No, it's not, you dumbass. It's not like the flu. It maybe have flu-like symptoms, but it ain't the fucking flu. Like countries, multiple countries have not declared emergency and shut their borders down because of the fucking flu or the H1N1 or the fucking chicken thing or the swine thing or the pig thing or whatever the fuck all of them are. Like this ain't never fucking happened, period. So any of these stupid, ignorant fucking people that's like, oh, this is just like the flu. Don't worry about it. You're fucking dumb. You know, people, countries have lost billions of fucking dollars over this thing. This ain't the H1N1. And everyone's like, oh, this is like this. Don't oh, fuck that. That's stupid. Schools, states are shutting down their education for the rest of the year just so people don't get it. So, I mean, now don't get me wrong. Is the majority of people who get it die? No. You know, I'm not gonna try to make it more than what it is, but you gotta be real here. I mean, this is a pand this is a worldwide pandemic. People are losing a shit ton of money and countries, not just the United States. This isn't a fucking, this isn't, I mean, don't, don't go smoke the fucking, don't go drink the goddamn Kool-Aid where Trump's saying that this is a thing mod on by the Democrats to keep him from being reelected. Forget that shit, okay? That don't, don't believe the shit he said that day. Believe something maybe he said a couple days later because he forgot he said that. Go with that, okay? So this is horse shit. It is a big thing, you know? And no one wants their kids sick. No one wants to be sick, you know? So then we gotta deal with that bullshit. Now, my wife is a school teacher, right? So she's home for the next five months and I work at home. My kids are at home. 
So there's that. Now I do teach survival and all this, so to be quite honest with you guys, I do, you know, from a survival perspective, I'm, I'm doing pretty good on that. You know, I mean, as far as like, you know, having things here and so we don't leave the house and blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff, we're good with that. But anyway, I'm hoping that, you know, April, everything starts, the bell starts to come down a little bit and hopefully by May, you know, everything tends to be um, a little bit better in that sense. But, you know, who knows? You know, the only possible like um, benefit that I can say in any way at all is that the country that we live in, we have, I absolutely love our country. You know what I mean? I, I fucking, I can't stand Donald Trump. Fuck Donald Trump. And that ain't a Republican thing. I just want to throw you guys out there saying, oh, she's anti-Republican. That's absolutely not. I have voted for, I have voted for 50% of the people that I voted to be president are Republicans. You know, so this ain't in that. Don't get in on say, oh, she's anti-gun. Bullshit. I own a bunch of fucking guns. I'm, I'm all about that. I'm all about self-defense. I have no problem with the firearms. Got no problem with the guns. You know, 50%. I voted for every presidential election that I absolutely can since I was the age of 18. And I'm in my 40s. And every fucking time, half of them I voted for, I've been Republican. The other half have been Democrat. So don't give me this horse shit about, oh, she's some way off fucking liberal transgendered woman. Bullshit. Transgendered woman, yes. Off the deep end on the left side, no. Keep that horse shit to yourself because that's not fucking true. I don't like, I think Donald Trump is a fucking prick. And I think he's an embarrassment to this fucking country. And when I went through my transition, I'm going to throw this little tidbit out there since I'm on a fucking rant. Since it's that little vlog video rant thing. When I was going through my transition um, as a transgender woman, George Bush was the president, George W., the, 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 the second one, the second Bush. And um, 100%, I throw this out there, I voted for George Bush. I, 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 was, I voted for Bush. I never one time thought that, my, that I was going to have a president that would take away my rights. I never one time thought that I would, I would be in a government, run by a government, that would not let me be who I am as a transgender woman. I, I mean, I, I went through my transition. Um, I had surgery, changed my ID from male to female, all that kind of stuff. Surgery is the whole bit with George Bush as a president. And I never one time through the whole time thought George Bush was going to take that from me. I never one time thought he was anti whatever was going to keep me from being, keep me away from my rights. And the current fucking bastard we have is he's just a fucking prick. They're just all there is to it. He is not for the people. He's for certain people. And that's just that. So we are in a fucking massive state of emergency as a country. And we have got a massive prick that's sitting in the Oval Office. That's just a fucking asshole. And that's scary as well. You know? It seems like, right? It seems like he's listening at now, at this point, it seems like he is listening to the CDC and, you know, the World Health Organization and all that. And he's trying to do the right thing and keep in line with everything now because he knows what he was spitting a week ago was bullshit. So kudos to him for that. If I had to find, like I'm trying to find, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find a fucking positive right now, you know, but I'll tell you, there's two positives. One of them is kind of me being a smart ass, but here's two positives. Number one, the country that I live in, I love my country. And I, I do, I love the United States of America. I do believe in the American dream. I mean, what, I mean I'm mean, i a transgendered woman that runs an international biz, business in combat. There's no other transgendered woman in the world can do that. And the only reason is because of the country that I'm in. And I absolutely love this country, and I do believe the American dream. And I am thankful to be in the country that I am. I mean, you know, we're on day two, day two, day three of this whole, you know, me and my family staying quarantined until April 3rd in the, in the house here. I'm just keeping everybody away from everyone. Uh, but we have gone out, you know, we've taken, you know, um, you know, you got, one of my students said at the Hanbu, you got to measure your, measure your risk, right? And, uh, you know, last night we went out for, we went through the drive through to get some ice cream. We wiped down the cups with the Clorox and everything, you know, and then today, you know, we went to, I went out and checked my lottery tickets, didn't win. Oh, and I don't tell you guys about the lottery ticket thing. I, oh, oh, mother. Okay. Nope. We'll do the lottery ticket thing later. Uh, I'll make that another vlog. All of my numbers hit on the lottery, including the Powerball. But I made a $90 million mistake. And in fact, I'll make that video. I'll call it that. The $90 million mistake. I fucked myself on that one, too. I'm just on a roll fucking myself right now. But anyway. So, uh, um, either here or there. Absolutely love this country. And 
you know, I am lucky enough to live in a country to where even though I'm quarantining my family, I still can create, a, I can still generate income through the internet and talk to people worldwide. I can still leave the house and do certain things even when I'm trying to, you know, stay away from a certain virus, you know, whether it's getting ice cream or checking a lottery ticket or, you know, whatever. I mean, we do, as a, in America, we do have it much better than lots of other countries. So, you know, for that, I am very blessed and I do love this country and I absolutely have nothing but the most respect and honor for those people and our soldiers and our military who fight and defend this country to give us um, the freedoms that we have. So to all of you guys out there um, who are in the military or service at all, thank you guys very much. You know, you got nothing but my love and support. Police officers, EMT, all of you guys, uh, anyone who knows this, if you're in Kansas City, there's a discount for all anybody who's police, military, or work in the service field uh, because I think you guys should get a discount. And I, I absolutely have nothing but honor and respect for all of you guys who do that and help protect the city and uh, the city, the state, and the country. So thank you guys for all of that, you know. The next thing, which is gonna be the smart ass part, uh, the second thing I was gonna say if I'm looking for, a, so there's one positive. Positive one is we live in a great country. Positive two, we have the, uh, we have the luxury <laughs> of having a president that has literally bankrupted multi-million dollar companies six times and still found a way to be a billionaire. So if I had to find any goddamn positive thing from the uh, coronavirus and all the money that we're spending and all this kind of shit, well, he's fucked six other businesses over and he's still doing well. So why not fuck this country over and then figure a way to pull us out of the hole and get us back to the economy the way it was just a little bit ago. You probably can do that. So anyway, there's my bitch. Uh, for all of you guys who are interested in authentic uh, ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu, um, Check out my website at www.budodunijutsu.com. There you can see the list of schools that we teach. Uh, yeah, the list of traditions that we teach. Um, you also see a list of our schools. If you don't live the next one of our schools, you can always join the Budo Dukai Online Ninjutsu Dojo, and you can train with us that way. To be quite honest with you, now is the time to be joining the online dojo. And next month, uh, I will be posting a sale, so everyone who wants to join the online dojo uh, can do that. So that's something that you guys can do, work out and learn the martial arts at home. Um, to all of you guys who have been supporting the website and the vlog for all this time, thank you guys very much for your love and support. I deeply appreciate it. And until next time, take care, be safe, and good luck in your journey of Buddha.